Welcome to the Underhive. We're back with some Necromunda content. It's been some time away, and uh, I am extremely glad that I am back making content for Necromunda. Uh, I have some games coming up here with some friends recently. Not a campaign, but just some skirmish games, stuff like that, to get some games in. Uh, but that's not why we're here. So we're here in the Underhive. We're going to be doing an unboxing in today's video, and we're we'll, we will be unboxing the Zone Mortalis tile set, or floor tile set, that was recently released by Games Workshop. Uh, so I've bought two sets of these and uh, I'm going to start making myself a Zone Mortalis board. I'm debating if I want to do like a full 4x4 or if I just want to get one more box. Uh, I might do a 4x4, but that's going to take a lot of terrain. Um, I have a big idea in my head as to a nice towering terrain piece, probably like, I don't know if I can do like 3 feet tall with multiple levels and stuff like that, uh, using a lot of the Mechanicus terrain that I have uh, kicking around that I haven't built or painted or anything. But e either way, I'm thinking that these might be the base for that terrain piece, uh, as well as maybe some Zone Mortalis games. Anyhow, so Zone Mortalis floor tiles. Super, super cool. Uh, I managed to pick up those and a bunch of the other new releases uh, and dropped a bunch of money, but we're not going to tell my wife this because she doesn't need to know. Um, so without further ado though, let's uh, skip that part and jump right into the unboxing. Alright, here we are guys, jumping into this Zone Mortalis floor tile set. Again, I've already started painting these, so they're not the uh, fresh plastic right from the box, but it will do for the purposes of this video. Uh, so we're going to crack into this box. Uh, you have four 12 by 12 tiles in each box. Um, so I've sort of separated them with this blue cloth uh, just to sort of protect some of the paint and stuff. Um, but so these tiles, if you haven't seen already, uh, they're sort of looking like that. Uh, so the terrain that comes in the Dark Uprising box, I've been looking online with a bunch of the stuff, and I guess you can put it like r the corner pieces right over top of these, uh, which is pretty cool. But uh, so you have all four of these tiles looking the same, the, the gray plastic like that. So what I did with these tiles is basically took a bunch of rattle cans of paint and started pa painting them. Uh, there was a live stream on Twitch, uh, Mark, I cannot remember his last name, uh, but from Games Workshop was sitting down and he was talking about him building the terrain from the Dark Dark Uprising starter set as well as uh, painting up these tiles and stuff like that. And so uh, I basically took what he was suggesting, not using GW paints just because of the price of them and stuff like that. Uh, I just went out to my local hardware store picked up a bunch of rattle cans and so it was a, a black primer underneath and then uh, we I went with a dark gunmetal color uh, and then a standard like a flat gray and then I did an off white in areas and such um, and then from there what I did is back when I did my old wall set for the zone mortalis uh, from uh, Death Ray Designs, um, so it was the uh, their set. Uh, I picked up some uh, sea spray. Uh, what is it? It's amber sea glass, I think they call it. It's sort of like a glaze in a bottle uh, or in a can, and so I added that as a final highlight to just get some tinting in certain areas. So you'll see, like, you know, in this one here, there's like some tinting down at the bottom and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so. I'm just going to start pulling some of these out. So each of these tiles, again, uh, I've tried to do a couple of like weathering techniques by just dabbing and dragging some of the paint off in pieces. I wouldn't say off, but sort of like around. Um, but yeah, so each of the tiles are the, look the exact same, uh, minus the paint obviously is different on each of them. So this set, like I said, I have not done anything extra with them. I've just added on uh, some extra paint uh, with rattle cans um, but the next box the next box is the box I've been working on let's get make some space here maybe I should have zoomed this camera out a little bit prior to but uh, so the next set I actually have started painting and uh, so we have like some weathering done on them stuff like that so you got your like yellow uh, hazard lines and stuff you got some washes and everything in here and so I've been trying to um, I've been trying to actually uh, do these a uh, little bit different in each one. So like I don't want each tile to be the exact same. So like that's that's one of them, right? So that's that painted one. 
just grabbing the next one up. So that was that was just taking some paint, um, and I did a suggestion that uh, I think his name is again is Mark. I, could be eluding me, uh, suggested was basically spray the tile with water and then take your paint, make them into washes and stuff, and then add them in and let the water sort of drag them into the recesses that much more. And so that's what I was doing with this tile. So like you got some like browns and stuff, and that's basically what I did with that one. And with, with the majority of it, I did on all of them. Uh, this tile I did some, I tried something a little bit different. I took some weathering pigments uh, to do the uh, corner pieces and, and areas around there. And then when I used the pigment holder and everything else, um, it started sort of spreading it out and, and thinning them down and everything else. Uh, these tiles that I'm showing you that are, I'm starting to work on aren't done. Uh, I still want to add some further textures to them. Uh, I want to do some like grays and metals dabbed on with a brush. Uh, I want to, um, you know, like over the rust to make sure that there is some metallic look to them. Uh, I might bring out the, the grays on the actual base tiles with a light dry brush of, I don't know, some sort of gray. I'll probably go to like a dollar store or something and get some acrylic paints from there uh, just for the size of the terrain and that that I'm working on. Um, so here's another one. Uh, the yellow, I haven't done the black lines on the yellow for the hazard lines yet, but I will be doing that. When I did it on the original one, the paint started running through the tape that I was using. So I might just try a different technique. I might just try freehanding the black stripes on. But yeah, so those are the tiles thus far. And then the last one as well. Um, I... My thoughts on these tiles, A, I really do like them. I wish that they would have at least given some extra designs to them so they're not all identical. Um, I know when you start adding terrain and everything and like your technique, like weathering techniques and painting them up, they could look different. Uh, but I want, I would, I would like to see more variety, I guess you can say in the plastics. And I know that there's talks of that coming, but I think that just would have been a good way to start with these tiles is to, by adding more variety into, into the set itself. Uh, but if they do come out with other ones, I will probably pick them up. So I will have that variety. Um, but yeah, so I, I, that's one thing. The other thing that I kind of would have liked to have seen, and I don't know if they're coming out with it. I've, uh, picked up a tile, a bunch of tile sets before more for like a fantasy setting and they're plastic tiles and they're from secret weapon miniatures. I cannot, uh, tile scapes or something like that. And they had for their tiles connectors that you would place underneath them, like in the corners, uh, so you could connect the tiles together and they'd be joined. So like, so like on the board, like it's not going to move so much on this, on this, uh, mat that I'm using, but like when you have them side by side, you know, you would hope that they would stick together, but like there's times which you've probably seen in some of my battle reports using the Zomor tiles, uh, tile stock, uh, tiles, or cardstock tiles, sorry, uh, where things might have shifted a little bit. And so with these plastic ones, I think it would have just been cool if they could have um, added like a, a locking mechanism underneath to keep them held together. Uh, these tiles are going to be great for anything, whether you're playing 40K, uh, Necromunda Kill Team, whatever, you can make your boards with these. It might be an expensive board, but I think it is. It will make a very nice sort of... Uh, whether you're you're in like a, a ship of some sort doing like interior sort of bu interior bulkheads and stuff like that, uh, or if you're playing in a cityscape uh, board, you could do that, or even in the ruins of Necromunda in the Underhive itself. So those are the tiles, guys. That is the unboxing for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to see more unboxing videos and such, uh, also let us know. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, ignite your hobby.